Hello and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 13th of September for the Sun or the Ascendant. This week sees a quarter moon in the sign of Sagittarius, very much to do with freedom. Mars moves midweek into Libra, technically not at its best, but brilliant for reinforcing our boundaries in relationships. But both Mercury and Venus are intense squares this week, but perhaps the standout influence is an awesome angle between the Sun and Pluto. Because they're both in Earth signs, this gives us the chance to transform our physical reality. But this is an aspect that can work deep within us too. Please stay with me for more for your zodiac sign. And if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Or if you would like to subscribe to your free daily horoscope to your device each morning, please click on the link beneath this video. Hello Pisces and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 13th of September. The Sun's link in your sector of relating to Pluto, the planet of transformation in your sector of uh, person kind, the collective, means that if there is a group of people, an association, a cause or one particular friend where you feel really unified, that bond can grow much closer. But equally at work, you can become much more aware of someone you don't feel so comfortable with because of the quarter moon. That can see your emotions close to the surface. If a colleague, a, a boss, even someone who works for you, is not really relating into your situation as you'd like. And also, uh, because uh, Venus is in your sector of the truth, squaring with Saturn in the most psychological part of your uh, chart, maybe you do need to look at something for the stark reality that it is. And you might be a bit reluctant to do so. I think Pisces people can sometimes not want to look at the hard reality of situations, to kind of, you know, persuade yourself that maybe someone is better, more decent than they really are. I have my uh, draconic ascendant in Pisces, and I do think that I have this in my chart. I also have a lot of Neptune in my chart. It's the, probably the most dominant influence. So that kind of very caring uh, Pisces thing, it, it's so lovely, but it has to be invested in the right people. And if it is this week, then it can be so wonderful. But if it isn't, it can feel a bit ouch, to be honest. But Mars moving into the eighth house as it does midweek, it's gonna give you a lot of drive to improve your finances over the next six weeks. And also, if you are wanting some more action around your romantic situation, this can make you much more desirous of intimacy. So things can get quite exciting, a bit hot and spicy if that's what you want. But if you want the kind of relationships where everything is more magical, peaceful, spiritual. I think there could be some jarring notes this week, but I still think that is possible with one person or one group of people.